Hello, 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 friends. It's Janet, and we're here at Fruit of the Vine Art Studio in Cincinnati, Ohio. Thank you so much for joining me here this afternoon. I really appreciate you being here. I'm just going to do a really quick watercolor card today. Shouldn't take very long at all. I'm trying to decide if I should tape it down, or maybe I'll just put a paper towel on the inside just to protect it a little bit there. Let me grab a different paper towel to, to, to use here. Now, I don't expect this to take very long, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. You can see I've already got it kind of traced on here, what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little ballerina, and I'm going to use watercolors. So let me zoom you in. That looks pretty good to me. And we'll go ahead and get started. There's my watercolor brush. I was thinking, where'd my brush go? Okay, to start with, I'm going to do her... Uh, her skin tone here. And I'm just going to get a little bit of my tan. Right here. And we're just going to paint that on here quite quickly. Let me just mix this up a little. Get it a little wetter so I can get it to spread a little quicker. That'll help a little bit. Because this is just going to be a real quick, simple card. Just going to take this paint from right there and bring it right over here into her face. And there we go. Let me get me a little bit of the brown. Mix just a little bit of this darker brown with it. And we're going to just do her hair with this. She got a little crown right there in her hair, and her hair's kind of got a bun in the top of it up here, so we'll just kind of darken that up a little bit in spots. Give her hair a little bit of a textured look as it dries. Okay, we're going to rinse that off, and we're going to get some of the gold and orangish color here. Get some of this yellow. And I'm just going to mix it with a little bit of orange to make me a gold. And we'll do the crown back here with that. And then she's got some jewels in her crown. Let me pull these up in a little bit of a point here. Rinse that off. And we'll give her some jewels. How about a beautiful red? We'll put that right there. Oops, a little too much water. We just take that and dip it off and take that and stick it onto the paper towel. And I'm just going to keep dipping back onto it until I take off enough of it. There now. You can see the red there. Let me get a little bit of the... Oh, let's get a pretty green color. We'll put a pretty green one right there. A pretty green color right on that one. And we'll get a blue, a little sky blue maybe, and then a purple color. Put the blue right there. Okay, and then the purple. Just 
just dot it on. If too much comes out, touch your paper towel and then just go back and work with it. Continue to remove the excess water if you have to. And next thing you know, you've got a pretty little crown. Okay, now we're going to get us some pinks going here. I'm going to wet these over here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to just go right here on the sides. Right here. This little area right in between. I want that a little darker down in there. I want that to show real well. I'm going to give her these color shoes too. Pretty pink slippers. Ooh. Gonna get just a little bit of that extra water right there off. A little darker down there on the toe. There we go. And then we can put a little bit of this darker pink down here along the bottom of her tutu. Not like that. Okay. Now we're going to move over to this one. Put that here in the middle. It's a reddish color. Ooh, that's just a little too much there. I had to dab it off. First, let me see if I can move it around. And if so, I'll take it that way. Just a little too much right there. We'll just kind of blend that into her skin tone. There we go. Just add a little bit of water and pull it off. Okay, now I'm going to get back to that and I'm going to add some of that down along the bottom of it too. That's a reddish color. And some of that's going to be back here in the back. There we go. And then I'm going to mix some pink with white. And try to make myself a really light pink here. That's a hot pink. And mix some white with it. There, maybe that'll do it. We're going to do our little stockings. 
with this very light pink. And then we're going to tap it in here. Put it in there in globs. See if that would work. little dots on the bodies of this light color pink and we'll let those dry tiny tiny dots Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me get a little bit of this. Mix it with that pink there. And we're going to add some of that in down in here. Just in some spots going across. way see the little dots on her on her top there and the little layers of her skirt now let me add just a little bit of dark right there and just to make her crown show up better. Kind of straighten that out a little bit. Okay. So now we just need to add her a background. Let me see. Just do like little dots, different colors of pink in the background. This is a darker color here that I'm adding. I want it to appear pretty random. I don't want them to look too like I'm trying to put them in any kind of order. Okay, let's get another color. Let's do this hot pink. Do some bigger dots. Just having fun with it. Hey, Steve. Thanks for commenting. I appreciate that. And let's get a little bit of red. We haven't used much red here. Maybe we'll just make some little squiggly lines coming down 
like there's confetti falling around her. It's a celebration. Let me get a little more water on it so they show up. A little more color in there. Just a few little lines here and there. Let's get some of that light pink. A little few. There's a light pink coming down. Maybe a couple more little different colored dots in the background. Bigger splotches, maybe. And I think that that, I think that does it, guys. That that looks to me like that card is absolutely as decorated as it could possibly need to be. So there we have it. Just a happy little card with all kinds of little fun stuff falling down and around. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.